Stephen, welcome to Wrexham. How does it feel getting the deal over the line? Yeah, it's good. It's good. Uh, it's been a long day today, but I finally got it, got it over the line, so I'm excited. Obviously, very storied career that you've had playing at all different sort of levels. If you could sum up in your own words, how would you? My career? Uh, well, I'm 36 now, so it's been a long one. It's been a long one, but no, I've been very happy with all the things I've kind of achieved. You know, I've managed to get to play for my country and stuff, which is, uh, is a big, big achievement for myself and my family. So, um, yeah, on to the next part of my, my career now. And obviously you arrive at Rex and haven't spent time in Scotland. What's been what's it been like for you the last few years? Um, it's been good. I really enjoyed it. I know um, it didn't end well for, for us as a club last year, but um, it was disappointing. But I really enjoyed my time there. And obviously then this opportunity came along and it was too good to turn down. Now what are you hoping to bring to the squad now you've arrived in Rex? Uh, hopefully obviously a, a lot of experience. Like I said, I'm 36, uh, still still fit, still raring to go. So, uh, Hopefully I can bring a lot of experience here and hopefully some goals. And then playing at League 2 level, but for a club with big ambitions to go above and beyond that, and how does that feel? 100% that was one of the biggest going points, you know, the ambition of the club. And obviously if I can be part of that and help the club along the way, then it'll be good. And you've seen much of the club from the outside over the last couple of years on this sort of incredible journey we've been on. Yeah, of course, I don't think you can not see it. It's been a, it's been a great obviously, experience for the, for the fans and for the players and for the, for the owners, so hopefully we can continue that. And if you sat here at the Stoke Kairas, 10,000 people almost week in, week out, how much are you looking forward to that? I'm looking forward to it, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be in the squad or not, if I'm not, I'll be on the side cheering the lads on, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And obviously you've played with team, you know, several of your teams with huge fan bases like that, and what difference does that make to you as a player? Oh, it's great, so you can hear them on the side, especially week in, week out, it's a packed house. There's nothing better as a player, that's what you kind of want to be a footballer for, to, to put on a show for the fans and then you can appreciate it. You've mentioned your international experience. I've joined the squad players like James, who plays lots of international experience too. How how much has that helped you with your club football with your career? It's good. It's different, you know. International football is a lot different to, to club football. It's a, you know, you're away and it's an intense, like kind of ten day, two week experience, and you're kind of living inside each other's pockets. But, um, but it's it's good and it's uh, like I said, it's helped me along the way, you know, picking up international experience and playing against other countries, it's been good, so hopefully I can bring that in. Yeah, thanks so much and all the best. Thanks very much.